What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is the Chig coming at you with something that's kind of a meme build but a lot of fun. We are going to be doing some ambushing, but before we get started, we hit that like right, let's hop right into the build here. So like I said, it's kind of meme because we don't have a lot of points. So first thing we want to look at here, we have five points in opportunity. Increases the damage dealt when striking from behind with your backstab, garrote, or ambush abilities by 20%. So we're relying on our ambush. Um, and our backstab, unfortunately, we're not doing the improved backstab build, which is its own thing. This is just for troll walls and, and doing some big dunks with the improved ambush. And I will show you some more clips after we're done talking about it. Uh, camouflage, increase your speed while stealth by 15%. Reduce the cooldown of your stealth ability by 5 seconds. Love this. This is just some of the best quality of life you can possibly have. It is incredible. It is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this, right? And then improved ambush. This is the whole reason this even works. Increase the critical strike chance of your ambush ability by 45%. So, 45% plus, well, my typical is 12 something. I'm currently uh, res sick for reasons we're not going to talk about. But so, I'm almost 60% crit chance, about 57%. Um, I can get to 60 with consumables, so you are just huge, huge, huge chance to crit with your ambush. In world PvP, there is nothing saying you can't ambush, vanish, ambush, right? I will show you some clips where it's kind of fun, we're kind of goofing off, and I was just kind of roaming around out here in Ashenvale looking for people. Uh, those clips that I showed at the beginning of the video are from Warsong Gulch, which everybody knows 25% less damage, didn't get a lot of crits, like... Who knows? Uh, it is what it is though, right? So, move over to combat. You put your three points in improved gouge. This is so you can CC, so you can get behind them, so you can backstab again, so you can break combat, you know, whatever you're using that for. Um, this extends your gouge to 5.5 seconds. You can get out of combat in six seconds. So, if you gouge, run away, you can catch a re-stealth. Um, that is a thing you can do, and then you can just ambush them again. So it just bonk bonk, right? So as you can see, my gear is not bad. I have a few pieces from the raid. I have the Artemis Cowl. I have the Bell Modon Blunderbuss. I have the Trinket. So I got a little extra attack power. But as far as raid gear, that's it. I'm using the Meteor Shard, which you get from SFK, everybody can farm that. And I'm using the Scout's Blade, which is from PvP. Everybody can farm that. Your offhand doesn't matter. Um, so I also have in my bags the Gusting Wind offhand. I just like getting the extra stats from this, having a little extra agility and have a little extra stamina. Never hurt anybody. And then the Meteor Shard in my main hand because give me the chance to get that extra 35 fire damage, which is kind of good. Um, but my gear is not the best. Mostly just a couple PvP pieces and then like two raid pieces and an amalgamation of stuff from Quest and the Auction House. I mean, I'm still wearing Auction House gloves, right? So let's talk about my uh, runes here. What I'm using is Slaughter from the Shadows. That way my ambush costs less, 20 less. So we're ambushing for 40. Our backstab costs 40. Our main ability is going to be backstab when we're fighting. As long as your energy is not capping, still just try to get behind them and backstab them. Don't try to do the whole, well, I'm just going to sinister strike them. No, you're not. Don't do that. If you can get behind them, backstab them. If your energy is about to be full, sure, sinister strike. But if you're in that position, you should probably just be gouging, getting behind them, and doing what you need to be doing, right? All right, I'm also using shadow strike. You can use whatever you want in your hand rune. Um, Mutilate, if you don't want to have Sinister Strike, there's nothing wrong with that. Mutilate benefits from opportunity, so having Mutilate would be great. You can use Saber Slash if you're doing more of a dot build, also great. There's nothing wrong with that. And then Shiv, I like Shiv or Shadow Strike. Shadow Strike, just in case I can't get behind them. Uh, close enough for an ambush, I can shadow strike to him and then, you know, backstab, CC, get behind him, all that. But Shiv just literally gives you the automatic crippling, right? Um, so what we're running is double crippling poison because we want to make sure they're getting slowed. Shiv just makes it where 
if you need to throw a quick shiv, they're automatically slow and you don't have to worry about it, right? We are using on our chest, like I said, slaughter from the shadows, get the 20% or 20 more um, cheaper energy cost on our backstab and our ambush. And then on the legs, we are using between the eyes. The reason we're using between the eyes is because blade dance, not really going to do us any good. And venom, we're not using deadly brew, so not going to do us any good. And then between the eyes, just having our stun is going to help us out, especially in world PvP and stuff. So that's kind of the whole thing, guys. Just get some agility, get some stamina. You can just throw a bunch of monkey gear and get two decent daggers, and you can go yeet and delete people. Um, I will say that this is better for fighting people who are a little more squishy and stuff, but it is still really good. Um, I'm going to roll a couple more clips of me doing some world PvP, but... This is it, guys. Get out there and try this. It's fun. Um, this is probably what I'm going to use while I'm just goofing around waiting until the uh, new phase in a couple, well, I guess a couple days at this point, not even a couple weeks. And then, yeah, going to be rushing to Hemo, guys. I am so looking forward to Hemo and seeing what kind of runes we're getting after this. I am so excited to actually be a sub rogue again. I'm so excited to try out all the new things. Also really excited to try out some more um, assassination with some mutilate once we get there. Anyways, guys, I'm going to play a couple more um, clips of using this out in the open world, and I will see you guys in Azeroth. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. 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 